I just gotta say, oh, corn is lit. I like corn in this game. Smash for corn, no. This corn is sick. So it's interesting to see the Fire Emblem battle between Corrin and Robin. Corrin has a lot going on for her in this game. Smash 4 pin and the ability to dash cancel um, neutral B, the, the, the shot, not the, the bite portion of it. All right, doing a really good job so far. It's just keeping the game somewhat even between both players, but we see Deathman getting caught in the arc fire and gonna try to float using Elwin to try to get the up air kill, but the forward air is gonna take the kill instead. Pretty early coming in from Kriyu so far. And now we're looking to see a couple up airs going up. There's another one. If I see one more up air at that level, it most certainly could kill at this point, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult without back air to be able to really get this kill off for Corrin at the moment. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this goes. Oh, oh just gonna gonna lose that stock instead you really don't want to see that especially because Kriyu will certainly take advantage of it and here we go yep he's gonna try to go for the spike with the with the L win but we're not gonna see it just yet yeah and what I would like to see from the the corn is being able to use side beat movement on, on top of the uh, the platform within Smashville and that's Smashville on PS2 as a movement option because that's something that she does have uh, available to her she does have that smash for strange movement with the side b using the dragon lunge yeah it would be really nice to see that at the moment though just it doesn't seem like they're too comfortable with doing it they might throw it out as like a mix-up option to just catch creo off surprise but we're gonna see the back air taking that stock once again now one stock left of three it's a very bad position to be in and this is one of the things I talked about before, like earlier at the start of the stream, just the the importance of having a really good lead is the, is like a big difference in this game between winning and losing. Because if you yeah. have this momentum going for you and you have a lot of stocks in the advantage, you don't have to necessarily worry about what happens um, if you lose like one or two of them. But um, just keeping your opponent on their toes at all times leads them to potentially making more mistakes and in the end lending you a potential win. And we're seeing that here so far just not giving room to breathe for devman just having a hard time trying to get any sort of like kill confirm in here he tries to go for the arc fire the the version two checkmate he gets the back here and that's going to seal the stock so there's going to be game one going to uh to the robin it's, it's, the it just it was unfortunate off of that third stock that he had that he just missed the ledge like that it looked like he was trying to do forward air, and then he just kind of fell a little bit too fast. He didn't automatically snap to ledge, so it's just unfortunate that, that did happen. But hopefully, with this game, I'm um, gonna gentleman back to the same stage kind of thing. Um, gentleman back to it, and let's hopefully Dev doesn't have that that mess up on the ledge because he was it looked like he was playing fine up until that lead on the build up. Oh yeah, absolutely. We saw in the early game, in game one there, where Deathman was basically playing somewhat similar to how Bassett has been playing, where um, really good early combo game, but later on in the game would start to choke a little bit. Um, Bassett really not as much with choking a little bit, but we've been seeing that with Deathman here for game one so far. And, uh, and now we're looking to see what uh, potentially might come out. We see the... Oh, going to be able to make it back on the stage thanks to Elwind. Going to be in Kriyu's um, disadvantage a little bit there with that uh, really helping out. But going to be able to make it back on the stage with Flo and very good like slide cancel sort of thing going on there to just snap back onto ledge. And so that must have taken a decent amount of practice coming in from uh, Kriyu there. Just in range of the tip of forward smash. Again, the back is on seal the stock, so it's looking like he's starting to get momentum going. This is the bite. All right, we see the back air going in there. Ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be another stock taken off, and hopefully we can see another uh, early combo game, but we're seeing it so far from Kriyu. Looking to try to increase it, but 
going to be just a game of uh, aerials coming in from Dev. Doing a great job at just following up on the DI and counteracting with a Nair, a Fair, or even an Up Air, potentially. Just really good stuff coming in at the moment. It's just a matter of trying to get a successful kill confirm in somewhere. Yeah, and that's something that I think that Korn struggles with in this game. Just having a, a solid kill confirm. Like, some of the cast has uh, grab combos into aerials. Um, it looks like Coin might not have that case. She might have just falling air to up air or up air to up air. So it's just different, very, um, very ambiguous ways to kill. Um, she does have the, the forward smash uh, on the ledge type of um, the frame trap. But again, it's hard to frame trap Robin with her having a wall drop, a float, and a super solid recovery as well and the up B. Ooh, and Creo gonna miss input there, landing off stage and trying to recover back, but unfortunately not gonna be able to. And that resets the whole entire game. It went from being in Creo's favor to now being even, and that might potentially wear down on the momentum for him. Definitely, but it's looking like he's starting to just swing. Bronze Sword's definitely a lot stronger than what it used to be. Down throw Nair. Tries to go for the check chase with Arcfire. All really good connections coming in from Devman so far. Gonna land double up air, triple up air. Barely just gonna live that third up air there from the corn. We're looking to see some sort of kill. Maybe back air, maybe up air even. We see the up air coming in once again. I feel like another one at this point could definitely take the stock, but it's just a matter of how are we gonna put Robin in that position to take the up air. And we see it from the up special, but mm, not gonna do it again. I'm wondering if at any point we may see a potential like lower on the stage up air into maybe an up special read. Uh, that could definitely kill at this percent for sure. But it's just a matter of reading where Kriu is gonna be moving to. And gets the forward tilt to interrupt the Arc Thunder, and that's gonna trade. And yeah, it's looking, it's it's going back and forth. This game looks a lot more even than the last one. Solid string coming from the corn. And it's starting to overlap them in percent. And again, pretty much Robin has access to smash attacks within the air using um, Levin Sword. Right, we see the down tilt into up tilt into up air. Gonna make it back. Give him stage control. The forward smash definitely going to take it there. And now Deathman putting one on the board. And it was a solid forward smash from um from Deathman. Now does um will it have a secondary? Does he just play Robin? Do you know? I believe I've, I've I remember only seeing the Robin so far, but I I'm probably wrong. As well, and again, it looks like we're just gonna go ahead and start back up into it. Yep, looks like it's so. Gonna be uh, everything seems to be fixed up at this point, and now gonna be able to keep it going. No stock loss is gonna be happening because of the pause. Thank goodness. And so far, all momentum is now going into Devman's favor. Oh, tried to go for the dragon shot there. Unfortunately, not gonna land it. But the up air coming in from Robin gonna take that stock away. And that was a solid forward air to up air to interrupt. To interrupt the corn coming down, and again, she oh, the thing about corn in this game is again, she, she's still she's not as fast as she well, she's a little bit faster than what she is in, in vanilla, but against Robin, Robin has a lot of tools to stuff out recoveries, stuff out approach options, and being a set player with a good um, recovery, a good way to mix up movement, barring the Good down smash. With the float, it, it's a little bit harder to catch her because she's a bit more, um, she's floating, she's jumping, she's throwing out projectiles. She has a strong hitbox on Levin's sword. Back here is 
going to send out a pretty decent angle. Tries to go for the Elwyn one spike. But there's so much going for her that it's it's hard to catch to catch her in general. Yeah, you're right about that. Definitely uh, been pretty hard to catch Corn off guard at the moment, but uh, that arc, that Elf Thunder is going to do some damage there, and that Thunder will take the stock. Now it's being back in Kriya's favor, and uh, it's just a matter of if we can see if this percent re really go go even higher for Devlin to be able to take the stock off before any real significant disadvantage comes in, and it looks like that's starting to become the case. Korea looking to be really uh, situated with the advantage form right now. But, Deathman looking pretty good himself as well. Looking really good. Just needs to... Oh, too low, unfortunately. Too low to the Blast Zone to be able to recover back onto ledge. Oh, that's a very, very insane play there coming in from Kriyu. Just barely going to be... Uh, not hit by the forward smash and it's it's looking like Kriyu might take this game but yes yeah, it's, it's, it's looking long for man right now unfortunately and this finally gets the side b kill confirmed and that kick is very strong as well as being able to direct it back and forth. Alright, gonna be able to make it back onto stage again. And it's gonna start getting these low percent combos that we've been wanting from Devman. We want yeah, to see it something? increase up. Gonna bring it a little more even, but I mean, that's if you don't take a look at the stock count. Yeah, and that's just something that Corn has over a lot of the other Fire Emblem characters. Her low percent combo game, and this is even ultimate as well, it's just phenomenal. She does have a good strings with forward air, forward air, and air. And air is a strong combo starter. Up air is a strong combo starter. Down tilt, she just has a lot of combo starters for our low percents. It's just the sealing the stocks is hard for her. Compared to Robin's strong up air, strong back air, which are very potent at getting stocks. All right, here we go. Game three going to be once again on Pokemon Stadium 2. And again, just like stated early on, Corn's combo game is just significantly strong. It's just a matter of getting the stock after you've done the damage is where um, Dev is starting to struggle at. Yeah, you're right, and with a one stock deficit now, it's going to be looking a little bit harder to get that stock off, but we've seen it before, he's definitely able to do it and bring it back as well, so it's just a matter of whether or not he's able to do it here, when it's especially most important, because this could potentially be the last match of the set, of the tournament for Devman. I definitely agree with you, good down throw back here. See falling up air gonna somehow take the stock there. Yeah, it just looked like he might have caught um Robin lacking on the DI. Probably was holding straight up, which is probably oh my god, back air to up air. Zyra spot back air to up air is a combo tool. Uh, Zyra spot back air has always been a pretty decent um combo starter in general. And again, Robin is just starting to harass on um, the corn with air aerials. Yeah, it's just not really giving any room for Deathman whatsoever. Just like covering every single option that he could try to give. We, we really need to see a good comeback coming in from Deathman here. And try to really risk it all there for that down air, but not going to land it, unfortunately. Thank goodness, though, he was able to make it back onto stage, but it's starting to really look like the momentum is for sure going in Kriyu's favor as he just has all of the energy in his soul right now, just trying to really end this off 
as soon as possible so he can fight Ben next. Yeah, and that's just something that, again, I believe that Dev is starting to get a little bit antsy because he is behind. And this is, you know, typically when it comes to losers, you, you know, nobody wants to, 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 there's still so much more that Dev can give. And there's nobody that wants to get knocked out of tournament without feeling they've done enough. And that's pretty much what I'm, I'm feeling like Dev is starting to feel. But it looks like he's starting to tame himself, calm himself down, keep himself composed. As he's starting to get these low combos and racking up damage. Oh yeah, you're definitely right about that. It's just a matter of, like, Dev trying to calm down mid-match. Just trying to figure out... Alright, reset. Reset the bike set. Just turn the mindset into the grind set mid-set. Yeah, and he's starting. He looks like he's doing a good job. Oh, but Run that's not gonna be enough. And Devman, yeah. unfortunately, gonna go down to Kryu. 3-1. Kryu gonna be moving to winner's finals to fight Ben 